The Passionate Eye now returns to The Truth About Global Warming. For the first time, legendary broadcaster Sir David Attenborough speaks out about global warming. The key question, of course, is how can we distinguish between variations due to natural causes and those variations of the climate that are induced by human activity. And the key thing that convinced me at any rate was a graph like this one that we marked out on the floor that had been prepared from climate scientists like Professor Peter Cox. Now explain to us the significance of this graph. Okay, what we're going to do is to take a walk through time. And the first thing to note as we walk through is that it's, the climate is naturally variable. It's a spiky beast. Occasionally there's a downward trend that's associated with a volcano going off that cools the system down because of the dust it throws up. But generally it just oscillates around. And then we get to a period around about 1910 where you can start to see an upward trend, uh, a warming of the climate, a global warming if you like. And the issue is, what caused that? Was that humans or was that natural? So what we do to try and work that one out is to take a climate model and to put in the various factors. And what we can see with this green curve here is a climate model that includes just these natural factors. So this is when volcanoes go off and the output from the sun. And you can see that the green curve can reproduce reasonably well this mid-century warming. So up to this point, you could reasonably argue climate variation can be explained by natural factors. But as we move on, we can see that's no longer true as you get to the latter part of the 20th century. From about 1970 onwards here, you can see the red curve, the observed temperatures, and the green curve really beginning to diverge. And the question again is, what caused this recent warming? So we run the model again, and we include human factors. Particularly, we include the greenhouse effect, from, uh, mostly from carbon dioxide that comes from fossil fuel burning. And then we get this yellow curve, and we can see, as well as reproducing the mid-century warming, we get this recent rather rapid warming reproduced. And that tells us two things. One is that the model looks realistic, it looks like the real world, and the second thing, the model tells us that this recent warming is due to human beings. So there you have it. There seems little doubt that this recent rise, this steep rise in temperature, is due to human activity. If you look at the green line of natural variability, it's clear that without the action of human beings, there would have been far less temperature change since the 1970s. 